Brian Winhurst shreds Luka Doncic apart after the Game 3 loss in the NBA Finals. But before we get off into today's video, you come across the video, do me a favor. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you got your post notifications on so you know every time Simply Ball drops and drops another hot banger. And if it's your first time coming across my channel, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. Post your comments. Share the video out. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I see everybody in the comment section. Hashtag salute. And you know what my mantra is. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. Well, ESPN's Brian Winhurst had a lot to say after the Game 3 performance by Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic fouled out with a little bit over four minutes left in the game, and Brian Winhurst, after the game, let Luka have it. But before we get off into today's podcast, today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek, the official sponsor of Simply Ball Dropping Podcast, the number one rated ticketing app, over 28 million downloads, 70,000 plus events from concerts to sports, all your tickets across the web, all in one place, rated one to 10. Green means good, red means bad, and all your tickets are backed by your buyer's guarantee. And remember, use my promo code simply ball dropping at checkout to get $20 off your purchase. And remember, by using my promo code Simply Ball Dropping at checkout, you're getting $20 off your purchase. Also, know that you'll be supporting the Simply Ball Dropping podcast. Well, let's get right off into it. Brian Winhurst has said some things about Luka Doncic that a lot of people have stayed away from. Now, you know, last night, Boston put a stranglehold on the Dallas Mavericks. Now they go up three games to zero in the NBA Finals. And you know, the way history says that nobody in the NBA Finals has came back from a 3-0 deficit. But there's still more games to be played. Um, Boston has to finish this out. Um, you don't want to give Dallas no life. Now, Brian Winhurst has been really harsh on Luka Doncic. And he said he gave Luka his props saying that is the reason why the Dallas Mavericks are in the NBA Finals. But a lot of media outlets are sparing this narrative that Luka Doncic is the sole reason why Dallas is in the NBA Finals. Now, the first three games, Luka Doncic has, you know, played exceptionally well offensively, but his defense is flawed. Now, a lot of people are saying now Luka needs help. What you mean Luka needs help? You got an NBA champion on your roster by the name of Kyrie Irving, and now all of a sudden, Luka needs help. But he's putting up astronomical numbers, but all of a sudden, Luka needs help. Now, that narrative about Luka needs help, it don't go both ways. Now, we known in the past that LeBron James puts up astronomical numbers, and when they don't get it done, they blame LeBron. They find a reason to blame LeBron. But in this case, they're not blaming Luka. Now, Brian Winhurst took a different approach. And Brian Winhurst is basically saying the reason why the Dallas Mavericks are down 3-0 is not because of the play of the other guys. It's because of Luka Doncic's defense. He's been seeked out. He's been haunted. And he's been put in every pick and roll and Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Derek White, whoever's on the court are going straight at Luka. And it's now being focused. And Brian Winhurst has now peaked it. And now he has brought it to the forefront to let everybody know, as good as Luka Doncic is, that his defense is the reason why the Dallas Mavericks are down 0-3 to the Boston Celtics. Now, after last night's game, Brian Winhurst was interviewed by Scott Van Pelt of ESPN, and Brian Winhurst had some choice words to say. I want you guys to take a listen to what Brian Winhurst had to say after Luka's lackluster performance on defense throughout this series. And Kyrie combined for actually more than Tatum and Brown did, but Luka fouls out late. I just wonder your reaction to that whole sequence. 
Yeah, um, I thought it was perfect that Luca fell onto the ground there in an unacceptable position to put himself in with four minutes left with five fouls, and then immediately looks at the bench and says, you better bleeping challenge it, as if it's the bench's fault that he just made a terrible play. I'm standing here in the Mavericks tunnel. Over there is the Celtics tunnel. See, Brian That's Winhurst where the winners is speaking are. facts. If Luca's ever going to be a winner coming out of this tunnel here, that was clearly have to a block on Luca. happened in this finals as a learning And then experience. he tried to show up His the bench. His defensive performance is unacceptable. He is a hole on the court. The Celtics are attacking him. They are ahead in this series because they have attacked him defensively. Wow. And you've got a situation here where Luca is complaining about the officiating. They Brian have begged him. Winhurst they have talked with him. They have pleaded with bomb. him. He is costing his gyms. team because of how he treats the officials. He's a brilliant player. He does so many things well. They are here because of how he did. His performance in this game is unacceptable and the reason why the Mavericks are not going to win. He's got to get over this. And the fact that he came out after the game and blamed the officials showed me he's nowhere close yet. So maybe over the summer somebody will get to him because nobody with the Mavericks or anybody else in his life has. And that's where the Mavericks are at this point. They're never going to get to this tunnel with the trophy if he doesn't improve those aspects of his game. Now, Brian Winhurst has some interesting comments to say. Now, basically, he's saying that Luka Doncic's defense is unacceptable, and he is basically a hole on the court. Now, Luka fouled out last night. Luka hasn't fouled out in an NBA playoff game in his career, in 47 playoff games. Now, when the refs don't swallow the whistle and make, you know, these guys play ball and leave it on the court. What happens is these guys are attacking Luca defensively, and he's almost been becoming a liability. Now, you guys go back to 2015, 2016 with Steph Curry with the Golden State Warriors when they was playing the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. It was almost like Steph was a defensive liability because LeBron and Kyrie – and Jr. and and Shump and guys like that, they would and Kevin Love, they were seeking Steph Curry out. So at the end of the games, Steve Kerr had to make a business decision by putting Steph Curry on the bench, going offense for defense. But in this case, Luca is a hell of a an exceptional offensive player. They need him out there for his offense, but defense, he is hurting the Dallas Mavericks. There's clips floating around on plays where Luka has been getting blown by by um, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Derek White, and it's almost in the defensive rotations that he's lost. There's one clip that Kyrie Irving had to actually push him to his defender, like go guard somebody. But Brian Whithurst is making it seem like Luka Doncic's defense is the reason why the Dallas Mavericks are down in this series. Now, you guys, you got to pay close attention because Luka's on that court, and I watch it. Luka does not play defense. Now, these refs are making these calls on Luka, rightfully so, because Luka's out there fouling. He's out of position. He don't have no lateral movement. Luka is almost like the guy that you're in the drill, and the cones is out there, and he's just standing still. These guys, if you give him a jab fake, Luka falls for it. They get right around him. Luka can't recover quick enough. Because, you know, Luca plays at his own pace. But in this situation, like Brian Winhurst said, if Dallas stands a chance to get back in this series, at least pick up a game, Luca got to do better. And he said this is what he's got to learn from, you know, in this finals. This is his first finals appearance. But Luca got to learn that you got to play defense. You got to work on your defense. And a lot of people said at the beginning of the year that Luca, you know, was a little overweight, got to get his weight down. And, you know, Luca plays in slow motion anyway. He's not the fastest and the most, you know, incredible athlete, but he gets what he wants when he wants. You can't speed him up. But defensively, when it comes down to being in the NBA Finals, you got to be exceptional on offense and you got to be exceptional on defense. So that's going to wrap up today's episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Please post your comments. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, on your way out the door, do me a favor, before you put your shoes on, give this video a thumbs up. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP, and we're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms.